Ants have a remarkable ability to detect sweet things, and this capability is primarily driven by their highly developed sensory systems and complex social behaviors. Ants use their antennae to explore their environment, and these antennae are equipped with a multitude of sensory receptors that can detect chemical cues, including sweet substances. The detection process begins when ants forage for food. As they move, they continuously tap their antennae on surfaces, picking up chemical signals. When an ant encounters a sweet substance, such as sugar or nectar, specific receptors on its antennae bind to the sugar molecules. This binding triggers a signal that is sent to the ant's brain, indicating the presence of a potential food source. The receptors on ants' antennae are incredibly sensitive and can detect minute quantities of sugars. Ants have gustatory receptors that are specifically tuned to detect sweet compounds. These receptors are similar to the taste receptors found in other insects and even humans, but ants have a higher density of these receptors, making them particularly adept at identifying sweet substances. The gustatory receptors are proteins embedded in the membranes of sensory neurons. When sugar molecules bind to these receptors, it initiates a cascade of biochemical reactions that result in an electrical signal being transmitted to the ant's brain. Once an ant detects a sweet substance, it will often ingest a small sample to further evaluate the quality of the food. The ant uses its mandibles to manipulate and consume the substance, which allows it to taste the sweetness directly. This process provides additional confirmation that the food source is rich in sugars. If the food is deemed suitable, the ant will return to its nest to inform other colony members. Communication plays a crucial role in how ants share information about food sources. When an ant discovers a sweet substance, it often engages in a behavior known as trophallaxis, where it regurgitates a portion of the ingested food to share with other ants. This not only provides a sample of the food for other ants to taste but also helps spread the chemical signature of the food throughout the colony. Additionally, the foraging ant will lay down a pheromone trail as it returns to the nest. This trail consists of chemicals secreted from glands located in the ant's abdomen. The pheromone trail serves as a guide for other ants to follow, leading them directly to the food source. Other ants that encounter the pheromone trail will follow it to the food. As more ants travel the trail, they reinforce it by adding their own pheromones, creating a stronger and more persistent trail. This positive feedback loop ensures that the colony can quickly and efficiently exploit a rich food source. The pheromone trails can also convey information about the quality and quantity of the food. If the food source is particularly abundant or nutritious, the foraging ant may lay down a stronger pheromone trail, which will attract more ants. Conversely, if the food source is limited, the pheromone trail may be weaker, resulting in fewer ants being recruited. Ants' ability to detect sweet substances is also influenced by their social structure and division of labor. In many ant species, the colony is divided into different castes, each with specific roles. For example, worker ants are responsible for foraging and food collection, while other castes may focus on brood care or nest maintenance. The worker ant's sensory systems are highly adapted to their foraging tasks, allowing them to efficiently locate and identify food sources. Their success in detecting sweet substances is a product of both their individual sensory capabilities and the collective behavior of the colony. Moreover, ants' ability to detect sweet things is not static. It can be influenced by environmental factors and the colony's nutritional needs. For example, during times of food scarcity, Ants may become more sensitive to sweet substances and increase their foraging efforts. Conversely, if the colony has an ample supply of carbohydrates, the ants may focus on other types of food, such as proteins needed for brood development. This flexibility in foraging behavior ensures that the colony can adapt to changing conditions and maintain its nutritional balance. Overall, Ants detect sweet things through a combination of highly sensitive sensory receptors on their antennae, complex communication behaviors, and adaptive foraging strategies. Their ability to locate and exploit sugary substances is a key aspect of their survival and ecological success.
The intricate interplay between individual sensory capabilities and collective behavior enables ants to efficiently find and utilize sweet resources, ensuring the colony's nutritional needs are met. This remarkable ability to detect and respond to sweet substances highlights the sophisticated nature of ant foraging behavior and the evolutionary adaptations that have made ants one of the most successful groups of insects on the planet. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.